Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So I am working on the cover for the um, the art doll journal that I'm working on. <clears throat> I don't know if you remember, but this was just a book cover. It's it's wet, so that's why I'm. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. Okay, so um, I've just taken gesso and kind of um, dabbed my paintbrush this way, that way all over the place to try to get a little bit of texture. I'm also going to add some other textural items. And I know like the color of this, you'd be screaming, no, but <laughs> I'm gonna paint over the top of it with gesso. So it'll all, once I get all of it on there and it all gets painted, <clears throat> it'll all be white. So you're not gonna realize that it's kind of this, uh, I don't know, chartreuse green or whatever. It's just a good, texture. So I'm, that's what I'm kind of looking for is just textural fabrics and items. I don't want it to get too, too thick. So um, I'm going to kind of stick in the fabric area. Um, I do have some corrugated cardboard, but I may just be using a piece of that sort of centrally um, on the front because I don't want it to become like this difficult thing to um, use or hold or whatever. I just want some texture on there. So I'm just going to basically lay some pieces down. And I am, this is a little wet. I'm going to use just a little bit of tacky glue to make sure it stays down while I'm trying to paint the other gesso on top, just so they're not wiggling around because that will drive me crazy. Plus it'll help hold it down better once it's on there <clears throat> and I've got like creepy cloth which I know is kind of a Halloween thing but um and I'm just gonna kind of lay it down and then I'll trim whatever's hanging off once it's all dry I just want the texture so that's totally what I'm going for I don't want little pieces of cardboard though And this is a little different for me, I know, but I, I have to try new things. I can't um, just keep doing the same stuff over and over. It starts to get to me <laughs> after a while. So, yeah, I just wanted to try some other, other materials than what I normally use. And then I have this lace, which is a gorgeous color, but um, it's super stiff, so I don't tend to use it a whole lot. I mean, it's it's very pretty, and I think texturally it'll look really cool, but I just don't um, use it because of the color, or I mean the texture of it. It's too stiff. I mean, I guess it would make good pockets. That's a possibility. And I'm not going to worry because I know the glue is going to show through there. But again, it's all going to get um, painted. So and I have no idea. This may turn out like poo and I'll just have to do something else. <laughs> That's possible. So... I hope you're all having a good day. We're doing a good around here. Just getting some things done. I'm gonna kind of just very carefully not really touch the glue to this because. And once I put gesso on, it's gonna help hold it down too. You could Mod Podge too. Use whatever you got. Like right up on my paper tongue, right in front of my nose. So yeah, this could be just a mess, but I think it might look kind of cool once it's all done. Just, just for something different.
It did look pretty cool too with just the paintbrush um, sort of pattern on there. Okay. Might even like do this sort of thing. I think right on the front is where I'm going to put the corrugated cardboard, like I said, and then I'll probably put like an art doll centrally on that. Okay. And then more of the green, probably. I don't want another perfect square of it, though. Probably should find something else too for texture. Mm. I've got this paper, but I don't know if you're even gonna really be able to see it that well. I guess I can try it. It's that paper that I um, paint and then run through my embossing embossing pocket things. And I'm not being super careful because it's just, like I said, like a background or an under coat I probably will still add um, some lace to the spine that type of thing Yeah, I wish I had more of the the paper done, but I don't. And on the cover, you can see I'm kind of trying to go a little bit more around the borders, just because the um, corrugated cardboard is going to be more in the middle. So like, you know, that kind of thing. I need to pull some more off of it, but. This one's really hard to get these off, but I like I like the way it turns off it because it leaves just a few chunks and not um, as much of the backing of this paper or whatever it is. with me, would you? Okay. So how big do I want that? Probably not quite that big. Um, let's tear a little off this side since it's not torn at all. Something kind of like that is what I'm thinking. So let's see, what else do I have for texture? I'm just digging through. It's um, just a bin of random fabric.
a piece of an old tablecloth that I coffee dyed. Maybe. <laughs> Can't find anything. Uh, being dopey today. I think I'm gonna have to put a little bit of glue under here because this wasn't as wet as I thought it was still. Put a little piece of it back here too. I know this looks like a disaster right now. I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but it's worth a try. You never know unless you try it. So I think I'll put a piece of cardboard there. And then maybe just like this strip on here or over here. I don't want it over there. Yeah, this is a little bit thinner um, corrugated cardboard, and it's not, it's like flimsier, softer. So that's kind of good in a way, because sometimes it feels super rigid. I can't decide if I want to put that down now or after. I think I'm going to do a coat of paint first, and then, um, and then I'll put that piece down and paint it too, because I want the corrugated cardboard painted as well, but... So this is just regular white gesso. And you don't have to have that brand. You can have any brand that you like. My niece gave me that one as a gift. I think once it's painted, it will look better. It's gonna be interesting with all of this kind of texture on here. Probably going to use up all my gesso. <laughs> That's why I kind of wanted to tack it down a little first because it does wiggle and move all over. Obviously it's just fabric. But obvious, and then also the gesso will hold hold it down too. And we'll add other colors once it's all dry and down to give it a little more interest. Definitely don't want the green showing. <laughs> Just doesn't really go with our whole thing here. I'll be adding other stuff, um, like probably some of the gold ink and, you know, all that. 
just the first layer here. Kind of going along the edge of this um, book page and tapping it down into the paint to make sure that, that it's not a loose, flappy edge. Because it wants to lift a little because of the fabric underneath it. I think I'm going to go all the way around the edge with the uh, the creepy cloth. Just sew it. Come on, you. Has some sort of texture on the edge. So this could be very time consuming. So what I might do is pause and then come back because I think you guys will be ready to pull your hair out watching me do this for like ever. So that's all I'm going to do is just keep painting and I'll be I right did back. go ahead and sand around here just to make this a little softer. I didn't want it to be scratchy at all. So because there are textural you know, the strings and that. And then on the inside, I went ahead and um, painted that too and just did kind of a crisscrossy pattern all over, kind of like texturing paint, you know? So I'll probably do a similar technique on um, the inside as the outside. And um, I don't know, <laughs> I am winging this because it's just something I want to play with because I haven't done a lot of these type of journal covers. And um, I mean, I don't know, anybody really that has done a lot of journal covers like this. This is kind of more stuff like mixed media canvases and stuff like that. So I don't even know if this is going to work. It may end up just being a disaster. So um, I'm liking it so far. I really like all the texture on here. It's great. And then I did paint this piece of corrugated cardboard as well, which we will also be doing some stuff to. And then I put together an art doll. And this art doll is new. It's one of the ones that's going to be in my shop. Oh, I have that. So I can do a quick flip through real quick of my newest um, digital download. It's a Christmas art dolls. So you can see here, this is the one that we're going to put on the cover. The only difference is that I... Um, made it bigger and I added these arms and these are actually from my spooky art doll digital download the arms so you could do it without the arms though I just decided I wanted arms on that one but you see me do these type with no arms so anyway these are Christmas art dolls so you get this page it's very similar to the last um art doll digital download that I did it's just three pages and um, it's just all different art dolls and wings and um, as you can see, all kinds of little Christmas things that you can add to them. And there's this page. I did one gentleman's sort of suit and two gentlemen's heads. There's a couple of hats. I didn't do a ton of men. If you guys like the men, then I could make more. It's just that um, I kind of just want to try it with these and see what we what we come up with. And then there's this page. So you've got hats and bows. There's mistletoe bells. This is like cinnamon sticks and oranges. And um, there's a little angel here. Flowers all about um, poinsettias. And these are, that's an amaryllis that I actually took a photo of last year when I had a lovely amaryllis. There's candy canes, um, old stocking, and it's an actual stocking, but I thought, you know, that's kind of cool for if we're using these kind of time periods. And there's obviously a huge, vast span of time period there, but just for fun. You know, they're just fun. They're not meant to be um, specific to a time or anything like that. Okay, so what was I talking about? <laughs> so this is one of the art dolls. And then um, I have this piece of lace that I thought will end up in the end, kind of going underneath. Linda said she likes old, you know, anything old, old stuff. So I thought I would put some, that's vintage. And then this would go on top somehow. I don't, you know, have everything 100% figured out yet, but I kind of have some ideas. Uh, this will go like this. Let's probably scoot down a little bit. And then this is in the corner. This is just a torn piece of a hanky. Just love that embroidery on there. 
And then I thought maybe that little piece of lace that was extra that I cut off from here, she'll go on here, but there will be some color in the background by the time we do this. So, and we may add like this crinkly frayed piece of sari somehow and stitch it. So I'm not gonna glue this down until I'm completely done because I may stitch around this or something like that. And then I thought, this won't cover that. I wanna see these flowers. Um, this will be what I tie around it. And I may ink this up a little, just a tiny bit. So anyway, that's the direction I am headed in. So I was going to do more like a paint thing on here and I will be adding some paint, but I thought first I wanted to, I think I just want to distress it a little bit because I just, that stark white is like, wow. I mean, I like it. It's, um, it's good, but I just want to take it down a tiny, tiny bit and see like, maybe that was too dark when I first started because I tend to do that. I can take my water and just, you know, make it a little blended, I guess is what I'm trying to say in there. But it does really help show like the lace details and things like that. So I definitely want to do that type of thing to it. So I hope you're all having a good day. I am having a good day. Just been staying busy with this. I've been working on this pretty much all morning. Just, you know, because when I first came back to it, like even here, you can see some of the green still from that green um, fabric. So I may go ahead and put a little more. I'm just going to use some acrylic paint because that seems to cover the best. The gesso covered well, just this is good for that last bit that doesn't want to give it up. <laughs> So yeah, that's kind of what I did this morning is go over all of it again and try to get rid of any of the spots where the color was coming through still. So yeah, but I hope you guys are doing good. And I got my, that art doll listed the art doll digital in my shop so it's in there so i'm i'm gonna do a project with that friday which is tomorrow for you guys for me today is tuesday so yeah it's a little bit different in time there but um anyways i i'm gonna use that on friday when we do the um christmas ephemera which I want to do on every Friday. So if you want to get them and join me tomorrow for you guys, then that would be awesome and fun. I mean, of course, you can buy it anytime and come back and watch the video and, and make them. That's, that's not um, a big deal. But just if you want to do it with me. And I don't even know exactly what I'm going to do yet, but I'll figure something out. Just kind of doing this right now. Oops, I just went through that paint. Darn it. That's what you did sometimes. It's like I knew I just did that, and I still ran right through it, didn't I? Come back to that up there. Okay, I do want to move some of that around more. And I figured out kind of a neat little trick. And I'm sure a lot of you may already know this. But, um, and we might do some sanding too. But if you put some of this on here on a piece of plastic or glass or whatever, you know, like if you have a glass mat. I do have one, but um, it glares so bad that I don't use it very often. But anyway, you can kind of end up using them like watercolors, which I do like, because that helps um, kind of dilute them and you can move them around a little bit easier. And I just, I, I like the effect. So yeah, 
that's kind of what I want to do is just play with this and see what we come up with. This may take a while and it took me quite a while yesterday. I was shocked at how long it kind of took me to get it all painted and um, uh, ready to go, you know. And then, like I said, it dried overnight and it still wasn't. And we're at like one o'clock in the afternoon here in my time. So, yeah. It's kind of a process, so if you're not into a long process, then that, this might not be <laughs> the project for you. Because it is pretty, well, pretty much everything with Junk Journal is super time consuming. So I am going to add just a touch of blue in spots, just because I like the effect of this with this blue. It just kind of is almost like ink and that's the blueprint the blueprint sketch is what that one's called by tim holtz i'm sure obviously you can probably see it but I'm just trading between brushes here. That was looked a little too um, new blue, <laughs> if that's a if that's a thing. So I just wanted to take it down a little bit. And a lot of this may get covered like along here. I don't know why I'm bothering to do the spine because. Um, probably cover it with lace but let's see what we have here to get my little squirt bottle what I did with it put it somewhere Sorry, of course the great big truck has to go by right when I'm doing this. Not that I've got a lot to talk about, but... Yeah, the other thing that you don't realize, like, I mean, you know college is expensive, we all know that, like, that's a given. But man, the more my daughter goes, some classes are just really expensive. <laughs> I mean, a lot, you know the fees, like we know the tuition and all that, but just the extra stuff that they need. But sometimes you don't think about that until it's going on and you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, great. Now there's loads of you in that boat. <laughs> Kind of new to me. I think it might even be fun to do a little. Where is it? Uh, here's my stupid little pencil. Oh. Just get some little spots of it here and there, and then when I put the water on, of course, then it turns that kind of different shades of gray. I think that would look cool. Yeah, this poor book. I'm just going to have to let it dry and dry and dry. It's never going <laughs> to It's never going to get dry again. <laughs> And don't get me wrong, you guys. You guys are awesome. You um, totally are super supportive. And um, loads of you come, you know, get my digis and stuff at my shop. I thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I can't tell you how much that means. It's just unfortunately, you know, life. 
life is. If I could only make stuff faster. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not real good at the fast because I like things a certain way and if I don't see it as the way I want it then it's not done yet you know I'm sure loads of you get it especially if you're artists it's just the way just the way it works And we all see things differently, that is for sure. No doubt. Okay, I'm liking that. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna move over to this side more. Let's um, wipe this off a little bit because it's real wet. And then I can put more ink down. Probably should have used a piece of paper, huh? Actually, do a couple of those. And then I gathered twigs. And then what did I have over there? Oh, the old paper. I don't. I don't know. I guess I better make it even and do at least a little bit somewhere of that. is going to pick up some of the vintage photo too. Just a little bit darker color. You guys see the whole thing okay i just thought oh my gosh i wonder if they can even see down here <laughs> such a dope and that got a little muddy huh Just a little bit of design left on this that I want to try to catch. Um, on that paper, a lot of it went away. And I may not even get to the part with the art doll today. <laughs> I don't know. This is obviously going to take me a bit. Oh, you know what? I don't even really have to do this little section a whole lot because I'm not going to see any of that. So we'll have that piece of cardboard over the top. I'm just mixing the brushes entirely. I guess it doesn't really matter since they're the water. Okay. A little bit more of a red color in the vintage photo that I didn't ever realize before. 
It's funny when you're just doing the edges of stuff, you don't even really realize the color that it is. That's going to be covered by that lace, too. Okay, let's add some of this to build all. I love that Stabilo All pencil. It's just the coolest thing. I wish the colored ones worked as well as the black one does. Because, man, it is just the coolest thing. Never had, like, watercolor pencils or anything that worked that good. I love the way it'll settle down in places and just different variations of black, gray, just all from that one pencil. It's very cool. I think I want a little more blue brown here. And some more gold. This is really dense right here because of that piece of fabric that I used for texture. It's definitely definitely textural, that is for sure. Okay, sorry, I get really quiet when I get thinking. That's why a lot of times I do not film um, making covers <laughs> because I feel like in some ways, I'm sure it can be interesting, but I don't want you guys to just be bored out of your mind because it is a time-consuming process and um, I struggle chit-chatting while I'm doing covers. Uh, I can do it okay when I'm doing ephemera because it's just a smaller piece and for some reason I can do both things <laughs> but for some reason when I do this kind of thing I, I just can't um concentrate on what I'm doing and chat you know just I just stink at that but I apologize for that um Okay, more blue, I feel like. Sorry, Posh is in here. <laughs> Licking his paws. 
<laughs> he just sounds like a little piglet. If you guys can hear him, I don't know. But he's loud. <laughs> That smash face thing is really brutal on animals. <laughs> we probably shouldn't um, encourage it with purchasing <laughs> pets like that, but he's so cute. My bestest friend in the whole wide world. I feel like I can tell people now. I've known for a long time, but um, I didn't want to say anything because they weren't really saying anything, you know, as you do. Um, is going to be a grandma. I can't believe we're old enough to be grandmas. I mean, that it blows my mind. But we definitely are. <laughs> it's just crazy. Crazy, crazy. But I'm so excited for her and her daughter and... The whole family. It's just an awesome, awesome thing. So, congratulations, Shell, if you're watching. And Taylor and everybody, Mitch. It's awesome. Very excited. For them. Have to go see that baby when it's born. Yeah, she's my best friend since we were six we've known each other so she's been my friend for a long time she's a sweetheart but i am super excited for her it's kind of a long time coming thing so glad that it worked out for them Okay, I'm going to let that dry. What time is it? It's been 34 minutes, so I'll probably come back for like another 15 or so once I get it dry. So I'll be back. Okay, I lied because I forgot. We already did the first part of this video, so obviously um, I'm probably not going to have time to do the whole decorating the front thing. So instead, I got these tags together. I've had them together for about a day, but... Um, I thought we would go ahead and decorate them up so we can get this pocket completed. So sorry about that. So I just set that um, cover aside to dry. And I, you know, you guys will see it for sure because obviously I always do a flip through. I just know that um, that would be a super duper long video if I added even all that on top of it. So we will do these instead. So I've just taken one of my art doll bodies um, that's in uh, my digi and I've just stitched on some kind of really old fraying hanky and I did ink it a little bit. I mean it was already kind of discolored or whatever but um, I just added the, the ink to it and then this girl is in my digi and the little glasses so the funny little eyes there so we're gonna put her on there. And I have an, a little rose that we'll put on there too. And this is just one of my collage background tags. So I just collaged the whole piece of paper kind of like I did. What did I do that for? Oh, the mushroom tag, which I have right here that I will show you. You can probably see it anyway. But I finished that. I feel like I never get to finish entirely. It's because I'm slow. <laughs> it's because I'm really slow. Uh I don't think there's hope for me to get faster either because <laughs> I just get more and more particular about how I want things so I don't see that getting better anytime soon but we'll see okay get that glued down this is going to go in and out of a pocket, so I am thinking I'm probably going to have to glue those wings a little bit because I don't think it's going to work for them to just be flapping, haha, -ha, about. They're not going to go in the pocket very well. So I think I'm just going to add some glue back here, kind of push them down on it, and maybe scrunch them a little, and then they'll kind of, I mean, you lose a little bit of the effect there, but... I just don't think, I think it'll be a fight and that's not fun to have something like that 
in your journal, something that you got to fight with to use. So we'll just do something like that. And I'm leaving the strings. I'm liking that look on there. So this one will be fast and easy because it's already got that collaged background. Come on, string, get out of the way. Turn our head just a little at a tilt. <laughs> Somebody mentioned again, I think it was in yesterday's or whatever day comment that <laughs> she's still creeped out by the armless dolls. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry. They're just kind of, I don't know why I really like them. So I just think it's fun. I don't think of it as creepy. But I understand. I totally, totally, totally understand. <laughs> as I said, my dad, um, he was never crazy about anything that seemed like unnatural, you know, looking or whatever. Um, he didn't like mannequins or any anything like that. So I, I totally get it. It is not for everyone. Okay, so that's the one that's going to, and I'll probably stitch around it and put fabric at the top. But we'll do that in, in a bit. That goes in there. And then this one was the next one. I'm trying to decide if, I think I'm just going to round the corners on that one. Where is my, it's always buried at the bottom and then I have to like dive over the top of the camera to try to get it. That little stinker was trying to get away. Now it'll probably be hard to punch that corner. I'll punch it last. These uh, old papers are always hard to punch. This is another collage board, master board, whatever you want to call them. But I just collaged all over and cut it up. This is a Capilla Imaginarium dolls. And I usually link her in the description box unless I forget. And if I forget, just let me know. But usually it is linked. That's just going to go in that pocket. And these are like old stacks of paper. So the paper is just one thickness on most of those pockets. Because otherwise it would get too thick with that many stacks. So you just got to be gentle with it. Because it's fragile -y. As Gail says. Okay. Oh, this is the mushroom all completed. So I wasn't sure how much I got done with you guys. Just a little pocket in there. And I did add this little art doll too. And that's um, that's a paper doll dress and hat, which is too small for her head, but that's kind of part of the funniness of it, I think. So if you have old paper dolls and you don't have the ladies left, you know, their head and everything, then you can make art dolls out of them. They're fun. And I think you guys already saw this one. And that's it, Capilla Imaginarium head, and this is one of my heads. I just thought those two would be fun in there. I realized I'm going to have to glue this down because if you put it on a page, the, <laughs> the dolls are going to like be, yeah, it doesn't work. So it's going to have to get glued down onto a page wherever that is. But let's do this first. Okay, so that's the next tallest one. I think I was going to use her. And this is just a piece of music page that's been turned into um, a tag. Color. Yeah. That goes pretty good. I'm trying to figure out how to. I'm just going to kind of do something like that and then trim off that edge. There, I need a glue page. Probably shouldn't have left all the stuff stacked here, but I'm just gonna glue it down and then I'll trim it once I decide where I want it. I'm gonna tear a little off the bottom though. And I didn't ink it either, did I? Wow, well, I'm doing good today. You guys are probably yelling at me like, what is your deal? Who oh, you know? Wouldn't be me if I remembered everything. I 
and her belt is creaking on the table again. And I like the uh, music, so I want to leave most of that. But I do want like, some old paper in a darker color or something on there, too. I don't know what this is from, but it's scrap paper floating around. Just to figure out where I want it. It says New Year's Greetings. And good wishes. <laughs> Sorry, I know this is super crinkly. So oh, that'll be good. It's from a old kids, I think, English textbook or something like that. Dear Martha. <laughs> it's almost the same color, but I like it. I like the whole Dare Martha thing here. That's funny. Ah, back's killing me today. I've never had back problems in my whole life. I don't know what is going on. And I feel very fortunate about that, believe me, because I know loads of people suffer with that forever. never had that problem but I do have arthritis in my hips so um, I can relate in my knees I think back pain's probably got to be the worst though <clears throat> I can't do anything. It's irritating. Okay, I just want a little something more on there. Just for some interest. And then we'll have to back this with something, but I may not do that right now. Just try to get all the girls on here. And uh, these are all, I don't know, the head is from Ick Peely. The rest is my art dolls. The little funny arms and legs and that. It's a little something down here. I've got a thing with stamps lately, I don't know. I go through phases with stamps and stuff. Oh, I could add one of these little shabby dabby doodad. Do dads. That would work. Number signs or labels, whatever. Yes, I do rough them up pretty good. She's art doll number nine. <laughs> More like 109 or something. I don't even know. Um, yeah, so that'll have to get back, but I'm just going to stick it in there for now, just so I know I've got all the pockets. Okay, I liked her with the lace, I think. I don't know yet with these. She looks good with that. Um, I'm going to ink around this. This is uh, Carrie the Crafters tags. 
and I'm sure you guys, if you watch Gail, you've seen Carrie the Crafter stuff. That's one of his tags. I want a flower like poking up behind her, kind of. I mean, I think it's fitting for a fairy to have a flower. I don't want to cut off all that whole flower though. Is there a different one that would fit better? This one maybe? I don't want the stem like <laughs> super crazy cockeyed. <laughs> Yeah, that would work. Tip it the other way, Amy. <laughs> okay. Okay, I feel like there's like zero ink coming off of that. There is. I can see it, but barely. I love washi stickers, but at the same time, I don't love washi stickers. They're kind of a pain. Yeah, Terry's or Terry, Carry the Crafters tags are great because they don't need really much of anything. They just look pretty. Especially if you're doing like um, shabby chic or something like that. They're very good for all that. Christmas, anything. They're just great. Because they're pretty neutral. on her. So tiny. And this was just my art dolls that I shrunk when I printed them. That's all on the printer. You know how you can do. Make them smaller, bigger, whatever. See if I have one of these. Oh, be fearless would be good. Practice kindness. She looks like a very kind lady. Or fairy, whatever. I think that's something we could all remember. goes in there and then we need which one I just love her <laughs> that's um one of it Capilli Imaginarium's faces she looks so perturbed <laughs> maybe we can have her stand on the phone I don't know I have a thing for this old phone it's so cool <laughs> reminds me of back in the day my dad had a kind of almond colored one but it had the the cord like that and the rotary yep remember it well and you'd have to like drag it all the way around the house to <laughs> talk on the phone uh. Try to go around the wall, around the corner to talk <laughs> to your friends. <laughs> now, I never hear my kids talk on the phone. They never talk on the phone. Never. It's crazy. They don't really even do anything with their friends anymore. I don't know. Is that, do you guys feel like that's true? 
I mean, we were always somewhere with friends doing something. Now it feels like they just text each other and stuff, but they don't ever go anywhere or do anything. Maybe it's just my kids are like that. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe because they're like me. I don't know. But even, you know, when I was a teenager, I was always out doing something with friends. I don't know. It just seems so different. I mean, they do do stuff with their friends, but just not as often as we did, I feel like. I feel like I was hardly ever home. But yeah, oh my gosh, we're running up on, this is going to be a long video, sorry. I'll just finish this one and then I'll, I'll let you guys go. I mean, obviously you can go anytime, but <laughs> I'll stop is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll stop blabbing. Okay, we need to turn this one up. It's a little janky. And I will cover the back of it as well with something. Oh yeah, great. One of my hairs is trying to be part of the art project. Okay. Get all the sticky stuff off of my scissors if I can. Looks like I inked it, but it's like I missed that whole side over there. So do I want to come over a little? How do I want to do this? She has to stand. I could do that, but then she's hanging off the top. So I guess I could just stand her next to it too, sort of. That would work. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't know. The phone doesn't have to be there. I just want it to be. <laughs> yes, it's not the perfect design. I agree. But I just love it. This is from a Capelli Imaginarium. That old telephone. All things old, right? She looks so salty. Do we have a good saying for her? Let's see. Do what you love. Just breathe. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll say just because. Sort of fits the moment, right? I know it's probably meant to go with a gift and you got it just because, but that's not what I'm using it for. <laughs> okay, it's just silliness, that's all. So now I think we got something in all the pockets and I will stitch around those so they'll get stitched. Yes, all the pockets have a thing, okay. And then inside, it's a writing spot and then just a collage. All right, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I swear I will get back to that cover. It's just very wet. So I um, hope you have a good one. I love you. Bye.